diorama of a lightning strike. Capturing the essence of a lightning strike has been an ambition of mine for as long as I can remember. I mean, lightning is just incredibly beautiful, yet painfully temporary, leaving virtually no evidence of its chaotic path down from the heavens. However, every time lightning strikes the ground, it does leave a signature. So a few weeks ago, I set out to do just that. Combining high voltage, sand, and way too much resin, here's my plan. I'll take a ceramic pot and place a high voltage electrode at the bottom. Then fill the pot with dry sand preheated to about 600 degrees. I can insert another electrode into the top of the sand and manually initiate a high voltage arc under the sand. This would form a superheated channel of glass which is super conductive. Then by touching the top electrode to various locations on the sand, electricity would form conducting pathways whose shape is partially dictated by nature. Afterwards I'd place the uh, resulting fulgurite in a container of some type and then submerge it in resin. That's the plan. Placing one electrode under the center of the pot and filling it with preheated sand, it was time for work. Mixing up a batch of 95% fine sand and 5% alumina, things looked good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's just pure dust. Lifting it carefully out of the pot, oh, it was clear this thing was gorgeous. <laughs> oh, wow. That is perfect. Ultimately, I cast the fulgurite in three separate pours of resin because the volume used would lead to a lot of shrinkage. Ah, uh, after four or five days of pouring and casting resin, maybe, maybe even five days, it was ready to be removed from the acrylic box. A fulgurite branching downward into a cloudy underground matrix originating from an impact site on a sand dune. The clarity took a bit of experimentation, and the outer surfaces aren't perfect, but it's good enough for me. The whole point of this diorama for me is to glorify a lightning strike, right? So it needed a trophy stand. Oh yeah, that black face seriously makes it pop. <sighs> and with that, this is my